guys, I just wanted to hop on here just for a second. Let me um, get the rest of my stuff together while Facebook notifies everybody. So, a lot of you all are actually in my hydration motivation group. And that is basically a free five-day water group um, just to kind of help increase your water intake. And one of the things that I had not done um, very often, but I've been started doing that's really helped increase my water is adding fruit to my water. Now, um, a lot of you all, the past couple of days, I've posted some recipes that I've done in my cup. And so this is a cup that my son's girlfriend gave to me that I absolutely love. So I've been putting fruit in there and drinking it and it's been awesome. But something that's been even better that my kids have even loved that's increased their water intake. So instead of asking for like a juice or, or even milk sometimes, they ask for fruit water. And so this is, I'm gonna show you how I make our fruit water. So today is kind of more of a, it's, it's not elaborate, um, but it's, it has more ingredients than what I typically do um, because I have some fruit going bad. So I wanted to use it up, but I don't necessarily wanna eat it, right? So I've got some raspberries here. I've got blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. So I went ahead and just add the mixture of everything that I had in my fridge pretty much. You can pick and choose which ones you want. If you like some and not the others, that's totally fine. And I am gonna use this pitcher. Now this is probably a three quart pitcher. It's not a full gallon, but a gallon pitcher would work as well. Um, which I have those here somewhere too. But I like this because the girls can see it and it makes them more excited to drink the water, which is fun. This actually came with my uh, my tea maker. Um, I think it's like Coffee Mate brand or whatever. Um, but I recommend getting a clear one just because it's pretty and you're more likely to drink things that are pretty. And especially if you have kids, they're gonna be wanna be more involved in drinking the pretty things, at least in our experience. So this is the um, one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it in here. So I have about two cups of fruit here. Now I normally, hey Danielle, I normally wouldn't add two full cups to this. Um, usually a cup, cup and a half would be great for this whole pitcher. Um, but I went ahead and did two cups because some of the fruit was starting to go bad and I didn't want it to go bad. So I wanna go ahead and use it up. Now with this amount of fruit, I can fill this pitcher up twice. So basically I'm gonna put the fruit in here and fill it up with water. And I'm gonna let it set for a few minutes. You can drink it immediately if you want to, but I'm gonna let it set for probably 30 minutes so it will really infuse. You can put it in the fridge you want. You can add ice to it. So I'm gonna let it set. And then once we drink it all, because it will be drank today, I um, can then fill it up one more time. And I feel like the second time, it's still usually just as good, but the third may not be as, as flavorful. Now here's the thing. Some people are like, well, fruit is expensive. I don't wanna waste it just in my water. Like, I can easily get like some little flavored things to put in my water. Like, I have some of these with stevia. If you wanna add this to your fruit water to make it a little bit sweeter, um, I recommend stevia. Um, but it's not necessary. So here's what you do with your leftover fruit. If you saw my post last night for, for um, dessert, I split up the fruit that was in um, the, there was this actually, the leftover fruit that was in this from yesterday went into um, some bowls and then I topped it with a little bit of whipped cream. Just a, just a dollop. And um, let's see. You're allergic to all berries. Okay, well you can use other things. You can use lemons, limes, mint, um, mint leaves. You can use grapes. I mean, you can, you don't have to use berries. You can use any fruit or any herbs, spices, or anything like that that you, I mean, could want and that you would possibly want in your water, Karen. You don't have to use berries. Berries is just, are what I usually have on hand because they're lower glycemic. So they're usually, the, the majority of the fruit that I eat are berries. Um, I will occasionally have a banana, but they're higher in the glycemic scale, so they have more sugar in them. So I usually stick with the lower through with the berry group. But if you are allergic to berries, you can use whatever you want. There's so many options you can put. You can put oranges in there. Um, like I said, lemons, limes, um, uh, you name it. Like you, it, the possibilities are endless. Like this is your, you know, your world, you make it. So it's your recipe, you make whatever you want in there. So take your leftover fruit, make it into a dessert, put some whipped cream on it. Just a little bit, and I'm telling you what, my kids eat it up. They think, 
Like it was like the best dessert for them last night. They were so excited to be able to like finally get to the fruit. Like the fruit is like, I don't know, like they eat fruit every day, but it was like they saw the fruit floating in there and they're like, I want the fruit water. And because it was so cool. And then they were like, I want to eat the fruit. So um, anyway, so I, what I'm going to do is, it's very simple. Um, I'm just going to shove all of this fruit in there. And I personally, I slice a lot of it. And maybe it's a mental thing because I feel like it kind of gets the juices out more. But not everyone does. It kind of does make a mess. Like, So there's the fruit, the berries. And then I'm just going to fill it up with water. My muscles are sore. So I fill it to the top. And look at that. Isn't it so pretty? Some will float, some will not, depending on the weight of them. And I usually will swirl it around a little bit just to kind of get those juices out. Oh, I'm spilling it. And there you go. And I recommend having a lid. I'll show you the lid that comes with this. Um, this lid has a spout on this side and then a spout on this side. And I use this side just so you're not getting big chunks of fruit in your water. If you like chunks of fruit in your water, that's totally fine. Um, just use one on this side or just pour it without a lid. That way you're getting chunks of water or chunks of fruit in your water. But I'm just gonna set that on there because I need it for my protection and so do my girls. And there you go. Like you have a whole thing of fruit water. And it's gonna really help you be able to increase your water intake. It's gonna be able to help you to not only get that, but a lot of the nutrients from the fruit, can you use bottled water instead of tap water? Yeah, use any type of water you want, Holly. Um, and if you wanna do it in water bottles, do it in the water bottles. I just, because I work from home, here, I guess you all can't really see me. I work from home. So I, um, I refill this. I usually put fruit in here, about a quarter cup of fruit, and I will reuse it twice. And then, um, you know, and I'll let it sit in the fridge, usually 30 minutes in between times. But there are also times that it's just easier and convenient for me to have this because my kids are going to be more likely to drink it too. So this is making it more in bulk versus doing the individual glasses. And you can use any type of water you want. You can use distilled water, mineral water. Um, and I mean, the, the really, the possibilities are endless. And you don't have to use all of these fruits. You can just put strawberry if you want. You can do strawberry mint. You can do blueberries. You can do, I mean, really just think of the things that you you like experiment with it you know if you don't think that like if you're not for sure don't do a full picture of it do a smaller cup of it and see if you like it before you go into the full picture mode but this really helps because I can just sit here and I can fill this up with ice and I can oh crap <laughs> I just poured it all over my counter but I can pour it in my cup and I'm good to go so I'm not sitting here and having to wait 30 some people will do it immediately thank you all for um being amused by my um I always have messes and stuff um because I personally wait like 15 20 30 minutes because it's I think it's a mental thing guys like I'm so mental um it's already ready and sometimes I will be honest um I like to make this the night before and let it set all overnight and then I'll just have it ready to go and I can easily drink one of these by myself every day and it's easy way like I said, this is about three quarters of a gallon. These are three quarts. So that's almost a full gallon. And if you did this with a gallon pitcher, you could probably easily get a gallon of water in a day. Think about that. It's a great way for you to increase your water intake without any additives, any um, any artificial sweeteners. Now, like I said, if you wanted to add the stevia, you could. But it's a great way for you to get your water in. You're going to get that extra little flavoring. And... I just love it because I'm reusing the fruit twice. So I get two pitchers so I can get, so it's three, so six quarts. It's like, what, a gallon and a half? I can get out of this fruit. All right, that's quite a bit, guys. And then my kids will eat the fruit. So I'm getting like double bang for my buck. Like it's, it's ridiculous. So eating healthier is not always more expensive. You just have to be more innovative. You have to be more creative with um, the things that you do. Water, for the most part, is free. Yeah, you pay for your water bill and stuff unless you buy all bottled water or whatever. 
It's free. This is one of the easiest ways to get healthier, to make a healthy lifestyle change. A lot of people tell me all the time, well, I can't afford to, um, I can't afford to buy a workout program. I can't afford to buy healthy food. Can you afford the water that comes out of your tap sink? I know uh, that it, the tap water may not be necessarily the healthiest, but it's better than the soda that you're drinking. It's better than the tea. It's better than the juice. So this is a free way. If you want to start somewhere and you don't know where to start, start with water. It is the easiest way, I promise you. Um, it is the cheapest way to start making a healthier lifestyle. Um, and it's all about taking those little things every day that you do, making them habits, and then making progress. It's not about perfection, guys. It's about progress. So anyway, I hope that you found value in this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to tag and share a friend that you think that would be, um, that, you know, would benefit from seeing this tip. So I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to chug some water and I hope you have a great day. Bye.